Hi, and welcome to the Sports Scene. Alongside Mike Zambelli, I'm Al DiCarlo. We begin tonight on the College Hardwood, and it's on to the big dance for a number of area teams. We begin with the ladies from Muhlenberg. Yeah, sometimes the NCAA decisions, however, can be a little confusing. After finishing undefeated in conference play with back-to-back -back championships, the Muhlenberg ladies basketball team believed they had a good chance at hosting the opening round of the NCAA tournament. However, that wasn't the case yesterday, as the team discovered they would be heading north for the contest, causing mixed emotions among the players. Here's Leah Kosi with their story. As the NCAA Women's Division III basketball bracket was unveiled on television yesterday, the Muhlenberg women anxiously stared at the big screen, waiting to see who their next opponent would be and whether their first round game would be at home like they had hoped. It wasn't until the very end that they got their answer Westfield State on the road in Maine. We're really excited. I mean, um, I don't know very much about any of the teams in our bracket, but um, we're going to practice hard this week and come out hard and hopefully get a good winning out of the tournament. We were the last bracket that came up. Fortunately, we knew we had the automatic bid from winning the tournament yesterday. Uh, if we had lost and we were waiting for an at-large, there had been a lot of sweat pouring off the brows uh, waiting for that last bracket to come out. I mean, we sort of lost track of who was still left in the tournament to play. Uh, but it was exciting. It's fun for the kids. And like I said, you know, they get the chance to do something like they see on TV uh, for the Division I uh, selection show every year. As players began to make phone calls, some showed signs of disappointment, while others seemed excited about the trip. After all, hosting the first round of the tournament last year ended in a loss to DeSales. And right now, the Mules are on a 10-game win streak, still beaming from this weekend's conference championship. I think we're a little surprised to be going to Maine. Uh, we would have liked to host, but didn't work out for us last year. So, um, you know, we're excited for the trip and hopefully, you know, we'll come out with two wins. We're excited to be obviously in the tournament to begin with and now we get to travel up to uh, sunny Maine so the kids can take their bathing suits and get a tan and stuff while we're on our trip. Uh, long trip for us, but you know, we're excited. It gives you a sense of really being in a national tournament when you travel, uh, you know, more than 10, 20 miles from your campus. Westfield State will be making their third appearance in the tournament this Friday, having participated in 1995 and 96. Head coach Ron Roan says he is somewhat familiar with the team and he expects his players to be ready come tip-off. Westfield State I saw last year because uh, I saw their championship game against Salem State who played in our tournament. So I've got a little bit of an idea of what they're like. Uh, we'll have obviously game tapes on them sometime by tomorrow afternoon and we'll have a better feel. Uh, for right now I know they're a quality team. They've won 22 games. Uh, they come from a good conference. Uh, so we're excited. And, you know, we just, we just got to go play the games now one at a time and uh, take what comes at us. At this point in the season, every game counts. So you're down to the wire. So there's definitely a lot of pressure, but um, it makes it all the more exciting. Hopefully we can bring momentum from the conference tournament, uh, you know, this past weekend and uh, get us a win. But, um, you know, again, we're just excited to be in the tournament and hopefully we have a good week of practice, get up there, and we're just ready to play. I think once the ball goes up, you're playing for a national championship in the NCAA tournament. If you're not ready to do that after a bus ride, regardless of length, then you probably shouldn't be in the tournament. The Lady Mules will leave campus later this week for Brunswick, Maine, where they will play Westfield State Friday night at 5 o'clock at Bowdoin College. If they win there, they'll play again on Saturday with the hopes of advancing to the Sweet 16. At Muhlenberg College, Leah Kosi, Two Sports.